Hello, my name is Ralph Vogelboom, and I'm an admin at HideYourFire.com, which is a small player-run collection of servers. But today I want to talk to you about Command Rank. So, uh, this is Minos. This is a city on our RPG server. Uh, it's my friend Top Gunny, and with him I've set up a stripped-down version of the server that we have, just so that I can demonstrate how Command Rank uh, might work for you. Say hello, Top Gunny. If you've ever struggled with a smooth way to move players between different permissions groups, then command rank might be something that could work for you. Uh, we're running this on Craft Bucket Build 2788, version 1.5.2-R1.0, which came out on June 15th, 2013. Now, I've already done some configuration so that we can jump right into showing you how it works. Uh, in order for me to see player messages, I'm going to go ahead and de-op myself. There we go. We've set up this server with five ranks uh, using permissions X. There's stranger, visitor, player, warrior, and veteran. Now, when a player first joins, they're a stranger. The strangers group has no build permissions. Command rank is configured to remind strangers to accept the rules and become visitors rank. It does this about every 30 seconds, and that's a configuration option inside the command rank config. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to accept the rules, and then voila, now I'm a visitor. Uh, permissions X is set so that the visitors group can place blocks. Now, command rank can also use signs to rank you. Uh, if an op puts a sign with the text uh, bracket rank up bracket on the first line, and then on the, the rank name is on the second line, when a player punches that sign, if everything's set up correctly, it can rank you up to that, that new level. So let's see Top Gunny here become a player. And you can see there from the list uh, that he's a player. There's also a sign here for a rank up to warrior. But Top Gunny can't use it because the warrior rank requires players to make a certain number of kills. I've set it in there for just one kill. Okay, now I'm dead. Let's see uh, Top Gunny try to rank up again. And there you go. He's ranked warrior just by punching the sign. Now the last rank, it happens automatically based on XP. Uh, I've set it to check every 10 seconds. And if somebody is already ranked up as a warrior and they have 10 XP levels, they'll get ranked up to veteran automatically, no signs needed. So let's check. And there we go. Top Gunny is a warrior. Those are just a few of the ways that you can auto-rank players in Command Rank. Uh, there's also playing time, you know, the amount of time you've been on the server, uh, inventory item requirements. Uh, a player might need a certain number of diamonds or whatnot, as well as vault support for economy if you want to charge players for ranks. Uh, you could charge in-game currency for rank ups. Um, other ways that you could do like an in-game point system, and then there's also passwords for ranks as well. Command rank lets you run console and or player commands on promotion as well. So you could give, like, say, world edit access or access to uh, multiverse portals. Anything you wanted to set up that was configurable by console can happen on promotion within command rank. It's a really powerful plugin, and the developer is a great dev, and he responds very quickly to problems. This is... Uh, So now let's go behind the scenes and show how to set it up for a few of these very specific scenarios. I'm using SSH on Linux, but your access might be different. Um, if you're following along in this as a tutorial, uh, you should already know how to edit your plugin config files and then restart your server. So first I want to show you how to set up new users to deny them building rights until they accept the rules. So uh, first let's get into the command rank config. Uh, here you can see that, that we need to set accept rules enabled true. And then we need to set tell players to read the rules. We have that enabled to true. And then we pick what group a player gets ranked up to back under accept rules. If they accept the rules, they get ranked up to visitor. We've also set players need to read the rules true because that means they need to actually type slash rules 
before they can type slash accept rules. Okay, so that's all we've got going on inside command rank for now. Oh, no, that's not true. First, we've got we to gotta make sure we define it. So uh, let's scroll down to a section called rank ups, which you'll see right down here. And under rank ups, we have the listing for visitor. And uh, you can see all of these different options, economy, online time, need XP level. They're all set to false. These are the auto rank ups. But if you go down here under commands by console, you have a list of commands that get run. And this one here is where the magic happens. When a, a player, when command rank processes a player moving from stranger to visitor, the console will run the command pex user, the user's name, group set visitor. And that's where they actually get moved. That's the console command that allows you to use any supported permission system to move a player between different groups. So now let's jump over and take a look at the permission side of it. Under permissions, uh, you can see that here we've got our default user set, which is stranger. New users will come in and, and they'll be that. The second thing that you need is to know is to have a listing for that destination group when they do accept the rules. And we have that here, that's visitor. Um, in, pe in permissions X, I need to have two things here. I need to have the default new user group, which is stranger, set for default. And I need to have a listing for that next group up, which here you can see is visitor. We've already defined the visitors in the command rank config. If you're going to be using command rank, you can expect to have to insert command rank specific permissions for each group that you have. And that's what you can see here. For the default user, we've actually got four command rank dot user, which gives the player basic ability to use signs, accept or decline the rules, and use a password to rank up, uh, use the slash CR command, and then also to use the slash rank up command. Since I'm using auto rank ups for some other groups, that means I have to put in a very specific command rank dot exclude dot auto in here. I'm only doing this because I'm using auto rank ups for some groups and not for others. If I wanted the stranger group to auto rank up, I would remove this line. And the last two lines you can expect to add for every single group that you have. The first line here is saying what the name of the group is, the is group dot stranger. And the next line is the rank, the group that you will rank up to. So you would rank up to visitor. That's why I have rank up dot visitor command node in there. Uh, so you should expect to have these two lines for every group in your permissions file. So finally, to make sure that strangers cannot build but visitors can, I'm going to add a, a permission to the visitors, which is modify world dot star, which gives them the ability to modify the world, place blocks. But you can see that strangers don't have it. So now we're all set. Next, I'm going to show you how to use signs to rank up your users. So let's go back into the command rank config. To use signs, you first have to make a sign that has the text rank up in brackets on the first line, and then the name of the group that you rank up to on the second line. The sign has to be placed by an op or an admin. In the command rank config, look for the text that says command rank up list. Here you're going to add a single line with the last bit being the starting and ending groups in the ranking. On this line here, I have command rank dot is group dot stranger colon visitor, which is the line that says strangers then become visitors. The next line down says visitor to player. The third line has player to warrior. And the last one is warrior to veteran. That's my entire permissions chain right there. This uh, means that a rank up sign can move a player to a warrior, a warrior to a veteran. Th these are the, the transitions through the different upgrade paths. So now we're going to go down to the rank up section. And we're going to look at the settings for player. Again, you can see that most of these auto rank ups economy, disabled, online time, disabled, needed XP level, disabled. Uh, they're all disabled. And that just leaves the global sign option for ranking up. This can be really useful if you want to protect an upgrade with uh, the game environment itself. So an example would be like if you had a challenging maze that a player had to solve, and at the end of the maze is a sign, and that sign can rank up the player. You don't want to protect it with anything else except the in-game environment. 
Uh, or maybe you want to have a rank for players who have made it to, say, the end, and you locate the rank sign there. And so if a player has made it to the end, they can punch the sign, and then they get the rank that you've given them. That's it. And then, of course, down here under the commands, uh, by console, we have the pex command to set them to that group. Now, let's take a look back at our permissions file. And let's go down to player. And you'll see that, once again, they have the auto exclude. And then we have the two lines that are uh, default for every group that you're going to have. They, you need to put them in, I, gu I guess I should say. The two lines that you need to put in for every group you have is group.player and rankup.warrior showing the next level from becoming a player. So the last thing I want to show you is how to use auto ranking. So let's go back into our command rank config. In here, there's a section called auto rankups. You got to make sure, first of all, that the main is enabled. And here we have our main. Yes, it's set to enabled. And every 10, this is a measurement in seconds. Every 10 seconds, it's going to run through this and try to do the auto rank ups. So we're going to go down to XP level, make sure that that's enabled true. And then we're going to look at what XP levels are auto ranked up every 10 seconds. In this case, it's veteran. And the XP level that I've set is 10. So every 10 seconds, it's going to look for somebody who can be ranked up to veteran who's got 10 XP. Um, but what group do you have to be before you become a veteran? Well, to find that out, we're going to scroll down to the command rank, uh, command rank up list section. And this is enabled. And you'll see in the list, we have to become a veteran, you have to be a warrior. Command rank dot is group dot warrior colon veteran. Warrior to veteran is defined here. So if we scroll down a little bit further and look at the definition for both warrior and veteran. And this is down under uh, our rank up section. Under veteran, we've set down need XP level, amount 10, enabled true. In order to become a veteran, you've got to have that 10 XP. And then we've set the also the console command here that gets run. Commands by console, PEX username, group set veteran. So we're all set here. Let's go over to our PEX config and look what our, what our permissions has to say. And under PEX, we'll scroll down to warrior. And you'll see that we have isgroup.warrior and rankup.veteran. That makes sense, but we don't have our exclude.auto. The reason for that is because uh, with auto rank ups turned on, this is the group that we want to auto rank up. We don't want it excluded from any auto rank ups. We do want this to get automatically ranked up. So, and then, you know, of course, the standard is group.player, rank up.warrior. And that's under player. So going down to, or that's under warrior. So going down to veteran, you'll see that we have the, the is group.veteran, but we don't have the rank up.something else. Well, that's because according to this configuration, veteran is the highest gra uh, rank. That's the top level that I have defined. Since you can't get any higher, there's no point in putting a rank up node. And then our exclude.auto is back. And that's, be again, because veteran isn't going to auto rank up to anything. Once you hit veteran, you stay there. So I hope you get a chance to dig in and make use of command rank. It's a really great plugin by a really solid developer. And thanks for taking the time to watch this video. To find out more about this plugin, check out Command Rank on Bucket Dev. Uh, to find out more about Hydrofire servers, check out hydrofire.com. Thanks again. Take care. Bye bye.